Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to install a business wallet and use it. Well, to use it. To download, you just go here. Turn it up here. GitHub.com slash HCLive slash business slash releases. Download the latest one. Right there. And then you install it. You want to remember where you installed it at. And after you install it, and hold on, wrong one. Right, you're gonna go down here and start your node. I've already got mine synced up, so we wouldn't have to sit here and wait a long time for it to sync. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like when it starts up. If you do this from a fresh install, it's going to take a while to sync. But if you come in the Discord or something, that na I mean, uh, yeah, or Slack and ask, somebody can upload their static file. So you don't, it don't you take you as long to sync. And once you get synced up to the latest block, just go here and open the wallet. And then you'll have your wallet open. This one's just an example wallet show you guys all right I'm gonna close that now like I said before remember where you install the bismuth folder to where you install it at because you'll want to know where it is so you can back up your keys for your wallet for mine it's installed on the e drive and then this is the static folder I was talking about it's got the database and stuff in it and with the new files, the way it works with the, these new files here and here, if you replace the hyper database and the ledger database, then um, it will mess up the nodes. So you have to get somebody to upload the entire static folder so you can get it a fresh sync, like the latest one. So you don't have to download as much, otherwise it can take quite a few hours to download it all. And these are what you want to back up. You'll have a private key and a pub key. Now, if you encrypt your wallet, you'll have private key encrypted. Let me show you guys how to do that real quick. All right, start your node. That should still be basically synced up. you want to encrypt your wallet you just go down here to encrypt and you unput a password and you click encrypt all right now your wallet's encrypted you can lock it if you want the wallet from now on it'll be locked by default to unlock click unlock put in your passcode make sure you memorize this otherwise you will lose access to your funds and click unlock okay apparently I put in the wrong one There you go, and now it's unlocked. Now if you want to lock it again, you go to lock. That's basically all there is for encrypting the wallet. And then after you encrypt it, you'll see it'll say private key encrypted, and you have a public key. These are the two files you want to back up for your wallet. You can save them to a flash drive, you can take them and email them to yourself. Whatever you feel safest for me, I use 
my email with, and I have two-factor authentication on my email and I email the things to myself to have a backup and that's basically it and uh, so after you install and if you need to up, uh, sync faster like I said come and chat and ask somebody for a static folder upload and they can upload their static folder so you can sync faster and that's basically it if you have any issues you can come and chat this is doing it from a fresh install with no wallet on the computer at all and if you have any issues come and chat and ask and somebody will try to help you out